All right, it's me again. I couldn't help myself. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> I made a lot of progress in a short amount of time. I uh, learned a couple of things. Uh, first off, it's the consistency of this as far as clumpiness. Uh, it can go anywhere from being really loose to some hard spot. You know, not hard spots, but pretty clumpy. So, um, But I, I wanted to show you. I can't do it with one hand, but I would take the bucket. And the bucket's working fine. That, that's only, what, a three and a half gallon bucket? That's fine. So I, was, I would take the bucket. Now this is after it's been mixed up some, right? I would take the bucket and just bring the bucket over here on an angle and uh, just kind of, oh, no, I can't show you. Wait a minute, let me see if I can put this. I don't wanna, let's see, where can I put this? Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have to take my word for it and just kind of get the idea. But you want the lip of the bucket close to the ear, obviously, right? Because you want to get it inside the cavity. I did make a little bit of a mess, but that's no big deal. So, uh, yeah, it's going fine. I mean, it's, uh, and, and I tell you, a little of this stuff goes a long way. This is already pretty much done, right? It's not super compact, but it's pretty well compacted. And this one I just poured, this is not as compact, you can tell. Uh, it's not as compact. I'm going to add some more here. See, I can push this down. All right, I can see how that's just going. I can push it down. And that's what I've been doing as I've been going. Now, you don't... See, that's the thing you have to gauge. I don't want it like concrete compact. I want it but enough to where it's going to do the job to give me that R... What was it? R15? So it's a, a little bit of a learning curve, but I think... You kind of get you'll get used to it and, and kind of know when it's you know when to hold them and when to fold them kind of thing right so i think this one's there i'm just going to add some more to, to make it up now here's what i was talking about earlier when i put my new vapor barrier up bring it all the way up here and but this see that's i don't know uh i'm gonna have to see i could probably do it with a ladder right make sure this is secure yeah yeah uh, Anyway, that's going to be that's going to be seen. I want to go to Lowe's and see what Lowe's offers as far as bats in a synthetic. So, uh, all right. Um, I tell you what, I'll put you on pause and we'll jump back in in, in a little bit. Hold on. All right. Bear with me because I can't see what the camera is seeing because it's right up against that wall. So bear with me a minute. I'm hoping that you can see something. Okay, I'm going to fill this cavity up a little. Well, they both need, all, this one needs to be done. This needs to be done. This I was waiting for the uh, the installation to kind of cure. Uh, I'm sorry, the, yeah, this, well, the installation is spray foam. But all you need to do is just get, get it close and just kind of shovel it in. Can't be more easier. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing. And be prepared to get this stuff all over you. Because <laughs> it's, it's going to get all over you. And I already can see it in my house a little bit. I'm going to have to run the vacuum. My little robot. Right? So there's that one. Now we're going to come down here and just do the same thing. Just kind of shovel it in. I'm really impressed. I like the cellulose compared to synthetic. I don't like synthetic insulation. Like the fact, yeah. Uh, I have I have synthetic in my my attic space, and if I had to, well, I had no, I didn't have the option to choose. Yeah, so this one's already getting full. A little of the stuff goes a long way, I'm telling you. Uh, but yeah, but if I had to do it, if I, if I, what, what am I gonna say? Oh yeah, I mean I, I would love to, like vacuum all that stuff out, all that synthetic blown in up, up there in that attic space, vacuum it all out, and, and do it, not necessarily do it right, but do it the way I want to do it, which is the right way. <laughs> all right, I, the bucket's probably in the way and everything else and yada, 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 but you get the idea. See, this is still a little bit, see how my shovel wants to go down, and my shovel doesn't want to go down too far. My shovel wants to go down really pretty far here. So I'm just gonna add some more. All right. Kind of work it in. 
until I just kind of get the feel for, you know, like over here it's it's less dense, it's getting more dense. You can just tell by the shovel how the shovel's reacting to it. And if you get some on the floor, don't worry about it. That's what brooms and dust pans are for. I ain't worried about it. Uh, so super easy, easier than I thought. Yeah, see, it still it still wants to be compact a little bit. And I know I said I was going to use a two by four, yeah, and all this other stuff. But sometimes, you know, I'm thinking ahead, and then I'll, I'll come up with a plan, and and I'll say to myself, well, I don't need to do all that. I just need to do this. Hope I'm making sense. I know the bucket's in the way. <laughs> but there you go. Easy. Right? And it's pretty compact. This one can use a little bit more, but that's not so bad either. This one I really like. But I'll add some more of that too. These two over here I haven't done yet. But I'm really thinking about how I can do it with when I put the vapor barrier up. Work it somehow to where maybe on a ladder. And that wouldn't be a bad idea. Like, okay, let me let me get you off your perch because I, I I'm hoping that you can see. Hold on one sec. Okay, I'm hoping that you got a good visual of what I was doing. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping. Well, not hoping. Uh, well, yeah, I'm hoping uh, for a lot of things. Yeah. What was I gonna say? Um. Oh, the vapor barrier. I'm going to try maybe putting the new vapor barrier up, up to about here or so. Well, I need to give myself room to work. And then getting it all secure, and I'm going to put uh, caulking beads down on, you know, everything, make sure everything's right. Get my little, get my eight, uh, my six footer in here and use the bucket and shovel method and just do the same thing I was doing down here, up here, right? Just kind of shoveling it in and, uh, it's going to pooch out a little bit, but that'll be all right. The drywall will take care of that. Uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be something I need to think about. And uh, all right, let me pause you. Hold on, I have to bring you out to the shop. Okay, I shut my garage door down because it's pitch dark out there, and it's only I don't even know what time it is. But here's my here is my jig, and I was a part of the jig, right? I sat I sat here, I put the bucket there, and I would put use the shovel as like a you know, um, kind of spooning it out and it would aim, it would hit the bucket mostly. <laughs> In fact, you can see my little imprint of my bucket there. <laughs> so, well, it worked out, it worked out well. And look, I didn't use squat. I hardly used, uh oh, see, oh, look at that. See there. I used maybe not even a half, maybe a half of this thing. And I'm really impressed with, because I got these a while ago that I was going to use up in the attic space for, uh, uh, when I put the platform back down, because I had to take the platform up to uh, to rewire that junction box. Anyway, you saw the video. So that's when I got this stuff, this cellulose, and I'm impressed by this cellulose. It's 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 natural, right? And it's uh, I don't think the rodents like it. You know, I don't think the little critters like it. I think uh, the insects don't like it. Limited lifetime warranty. Can, it, can be applied over any existing insulation. Yeah, that's good to know. I wouldn't want to put it over my synthetic though. I would want that synthetic all the way out of there. And I'm starting to itch, and yeah, I'm a mess. So I'm going to hook up my uh, uh, my air compressor, and well, I'm going to clean all this stuff, but I'm taking a break. Oh, yeah, I showed you my egg beater. <laughs> yeah. All right, this is coming on 10 minutes, and I didn't mean to make another one, but I couldn't help myself. I wanted to get into this and see how difficult it was going to be, and it's not difficult at all. For those, uh, let's see, was it four cavities? I mean, I don't think I'm not even going to use a full bag. I don't think if I do, well, so be it. But uh, a little goes a long way, and when you aerate it, it it doesn't thicken it up like I thought it would. Uh, I'm not even sure how much good this does. I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's not. This is not really clumpy. You can see some of the clumps on there, but it's not really clumpy as I thought it was going to be. I was I was watching some videos on YouTube and the guys that were using this stuff were pulling out clumps, big clumps, and they were putting it in the machine to blow it, you know, and they were putting it in the hopper. And I'm thinking, whoa, those are some big clumps, and that's what I was expecting. But no, not this stuff. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe they was, theirs was older or it was colder or whatever the case may be. 
All right. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll leave you be. I'll end this. And I'll leave you with my, I'll leave you with a, with a nice little couple of Harley-Davidson flags. All right. All right. Salute. And stay tuned. There's going to be more to come.